Hi everybody, welcome to today's game. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. 4-3-3, and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So an onus on them. Got the Everton lineup for you. Mohamed Bezic plays with Idrissa Gay in central midfield. Only one up front in terms of an out and out forward. Decisive pass. He's in. Here's the chance. What a moment for him. It's a moment that he's been waiting for and waiting for and waiting for, but it's finally happened with the goal. Yeah, and give him credit. He kept plugging away in this match, and finally he has his reward. And the goal looks spectacular and is very important. Yeah, there was some power behind that effort. I think the crossbar's still shaking. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? It's looking good, this move. And now the shot! And they have scored! And they do lead now by two! And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. Dangled the ball in with that touch. Knew exactly where the goal was, where the ball was. Uh, all about time, and it was so clean, that contact. Another angle on it here. Kane. Good vision. A real chance here. Well, that's in. It's in off the defender. Yeah. One more look at what happened earlier. Could the defender have done anything different, Alan? Well, maybe he's half turned away, and that didn't help. If he'd have closed it down a bit more bravely, it might have been better. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Bezic. And now the shot. Well, it's one step in the right direction with this goal. And they have reduced the lead. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. Well, I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. Well, that's it, the final whistle. This is a headline result for the underdogs, a genuine surprise, not to say sensation. I think so, no doubt the favourites didn't play well, but the underdog team, well, they came out the traps breathing fire. Well, they've had a poor day today, haven't they, the visiting team? That usually rock-solid defence has been very leaky and they've been beaten here. No shortage of entertainment, goals rattling in either end.